Yeah, I there's mean, a lot of yeah. things. I, I think I feel like we have a lot of things to discover, but but yeah. it's mostly untangling untangling natural law with what we've messed up. You know, we've messed it up. And yeah. it's kind of really what we're trying to do is untangle all the strands of, of the tangled mess that we've got ourselves in right now and yeah. get back to nature, to what we are meant to be. What did we come here to do this way? Why are we split like this? Isn't it because once, so so let's say we this never happened. Let's say we were all just, you know, uh, like like some of the other beings you hear on other planets that are neither male or female, da, da, da. What if we were that way? Right. Where would there be any challenge or any spiritual growth or any learning to sync with the other sex and to become whole again? Right. It wouldn't be in there. Right. So when and you I, look at that yeah. way, our spirit wants wants that 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 way, that lesson to be able to ascend, which if you start looking, um, you've heard for years and years that the secret of the white gold, they call it. Mm -hmm. And for years, you know, I mean, people would be, you know, be murdered trying to find it. I mean, there was a secret. There was something they were looking for and they thought it was, you know, something that they could create. Um, and, you know, they were alchemists trying to make these mixes and all this stuff. And what they actually found out was that that was a white powder that was created in the pineal gland when a man and woman came together with the sexual act and their, 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 um, chakras were all in line it actually created a, a kundalini rising that created a white powder in the pineal gland that literally could be transmuted into anything anything wow. yeah I but what that. they also found was that that same-sex people together or somebody individually could never create that they could create wow. things but they could never create that transmutation of the secret of the white gold right so you go back in some of all those ancient ancient scripts and all those carvings that they found in the tombs and all that stuff. It shows that every single time it'll show a man and a woman. It'll show the serpent on the pole and it'll show, you know, the, them carefully tending it over the fire. And it's like it's a controlled thing. It's not just, you know, it's something that they consciously worked on together. It was not just some random thing. Right. So when you look at it that way and you see how this society has tangled things up so bad. It's like we have to pick one strand at a time to try to figure out where where to you know where to unravel the mess and get it straight again. Is how I see it. I, don't right. know. I, I agree. I agree. Um, it, it's like a uh, it's like we're part of an experiment <laughs> where the Almighty yeah. yeah just sent us out free will uh, sent us out. Uh, we're, we're, we're gathering information from different perspectives, you know, and we're bringing information back. And it's a healing process also. It's a school to learn and teach. It's a healing process. And that's the main thing. I think we have to heal uh, men, women, uh, everyone has to heal to get back. We'll find our way back to the source. Uh, you know that uh, yeah that's that's what i believe you know um but yeah it's a process and you know it's it's it, it, and for that reason there's there for that reason that's why we we shouldn't judge you know we shouldn't judge I, I believe in discernment but we shouldn't judge we shouldn't be so hard on ourselves and others and uh yeah it, it's amazing i um uh, I like to watch documentaries about people who have visited the afterlife, who have died and come back. And to a person, they've all said that uh, they were able to see their life from beginning to end. And it wasn't about what anyone did to them. It was about what they sent out, what they did to others, but mainly what they did to themselves uh judging them, judging themselves and uh and, and and some people wanted to come back they had a choice to come back or to, to move on and, and a lot of people you know decided to come back um but yeah we shouldn't have a uh, guilt regret judge ourselves it's just you know uh we have to be somewhat well not somewhat we have to be babes you know a babe does not judge themselves um 
they're just open you know they're they're, they're geniuses they're open and they're giving and that's what we got to get back to and so uh yeah it's just it's an amazing thing yeah it's there's a book that's been my favorite anybody that's wanting to heal like really heal some some of those parts of themselves we've been programmed to judge through the religious structures that we've grown up in the cultural structures the society we've been right. trained to judge this is good this is bad this is this this is that right right and we do live in a world of positive and negative everything everything has a yin and yang side to it that's true it wouldn't be a this world without it i mean everything right. so you know there's a part of it but there's a there's a book and this book is available to purchase uh on amazon or on at audible it's, there's an audio book as well and it's called uh, Conversations with God by Neil Donald Walsh. Now, it sounds like a religious book, but it's far from it. When you read that book, it is so incredibly freeing. And it is so deep. You literally, even if you're used to reading deep things, you literally have to take a little at a time because it wow. is so incredibly deep. Wow. And I'll just share with you. I have seen some people. I've seen one young man. That was, I mean, he was messed up. He was into all kinds of things, into meth. I mean, I mean, he was like, you know, really down the road. And he, somebody convinced him to listen to that book. And this young man changed overnight. It was the most incredible thing I have ever experienced. 